Hi everybody, John Boutte, Buffalo Sports Museum, with another episode of In the Vault. And as you can see, the subject of tonight's episode is War Memorial Stadium, the Rock Pile. One of our most favorite venues in Buffalo sports history. And nothing about that stadium was lovable. It really was a pretty boring, dark, dank place. But boy, did we love it. At least I did. And so many people that I talk to in, uh, in what I do just have a soft spot in their heart for War Memorial Stadium. Uh, the stadium was built uh, in the late 1930s, opened up in 1937. It was a, it was a uh, uh, FDR public works uh, project and uh, opened up in 1937. First game was a college football game between Colgate and Tulane in October. October 1937 and ended its run as a in-use stadium in 1987 when the Bisons played their last home game there. And for 50 years old stadium, the thing really did fall apart. I mean, you look at stadiums throughout the country uh, that are older such as Lambeau Field, uh, Soldier Field, Wrigley Field, Fenway Park, all much older than War Memorial was when, when it was uh, closed up shop. But for some reason, uh, the stadium just really kind of fell apart. I don't know what the reason was, but uh, lack of care, maybe. But anyway... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, this particular item that I've been showing for the last two minutes. And this is the sign that hung outside War Memorial Stadium for many, many, many years. And it's a simple sign uh, made of wood. And this is actually, believe it or not, this is half the sign. The other half the sign is in my garage. And I'm going to tell you the story of how uh, we came to... Uh, have this and uh, are in charge of preserving and uh, owning this wonderful old relic. Uh, I, as many of you know, I'm a physical education teacher by trade. And um, I had two students, uh, two of my favorite students, uh, actually. Um, their father came in for a parent-teacher conference. And uh, his name's Dave Delasanti. Dave worked for the Buffalo Bisons for a number of years. Uh, he was uh, one of the um, locker room attendants for the Bisons and the visiting club. And um, he said to me during the, the conference, he says, I have something that you don't have and you need to have it because it is something that's very iconic and uh, historical. And uh, I just love what you do. And it really does belong with you. So I became intrigued right away. And I said, what is it? And he said, no, no, I need to, I need to show up at your house. And uh, I'll bring it with me. It's very large. So I said, great. So uh, the, the following week, he shows up uh, at my home with the two boys in tow. And uh, he opens the back doors of his van and he pulls out this and the bottom part. The bottom part listed the uh, the board of directors for the uh, War Memorial Stadium and Memorial Auditorium uh, division. So the story goes uh, in 1989 when they were tearing down the rock pile he went like many Many of us went down to the uh, the site to try to get whatever we could, uh, seats, uh, signs, um, anything, uh, rocks, like these down here. 
And uh, like a lot of us, we're shooed away by workers saying, get out of here. You can't have any of this stuff. Uh, none of it is to be removed from the site. So anyway, uh, he was by himself. He was dejected. He went back to his car and thought for a minute, hey, there's a dumpster over there right outside the Dodge Street Tunnel where he was parked. And he says, I'll go take a look in the dumpster. They can't yell at me for looking at the dumpster. And he looks in there, and this sign is laying in there. I remember it's both the top and the bottom of the sign. And I'll show you here. This is the sign in action. This was the sign at the corner of Jefferson and Best. And there it is. And... Um, he pulls out the sign that was destined for the Niagara Falls city dump. And he realizes, I can't get this in my car. What do I do? So he pushes it back down in the dumpster, covers it up with some paper. Hopefully nobody would be coming by. Races home, gets his wife's van, and brings back a saw. He takes the sign out. Uh, still wouldn't get in the van, couldn't fit. So he had to saw it in half. So he sawed it at this point right here, shoved the top and the bottom inside the van and off he went. So he's had this in his garage. He had this in his garage for probably, oh, 20 something years. And uh, he brought this over to us and he says, uh, you need to be the uh, caretaker of this great sign. And this is just, you know, it's just one of those items that I really just love. And I, and I love the story. The story is just fantastic. Um, but, I, but I love that, that someone that at the time I barely knew, and he entrusted me with this. And he says, no, I believe in what you do. And, and you bring this to the people and you, and you share it with so many people. And it needs to be in a home uh, or place that's uh, that uh, is to care for it, and we've had this sign on display down at uh, at Salem Field for many years. Uh, some of you might remember we had it in the Hall of Fame room uh, down there. And um, uh, in the last few years, when we redid our basement, we moved it down here, and it now it uh, resides in the Buffalo Sports Museum. So these are this is just one of those items that just really. Um, it's it's in my heart, and I just love it. And um, uh, there's Jimmy Griffin's name on the sign, and and it's fun too because, you know, every time the mayor changed, this dates back uh, decades, and every time the mayor changed, they would simply paint over the the old mayor's name and put the new name up. So, uh, the last mayor that uh, that had their name on the sign was Jimmy Griffin, which I think is great, because Jimmy was uh, was a big part in. Uh, in Buffalo. So anyway, I hope you like the segment. Um, uh, this is, uh, before I go, this is a beautiful um, street sign that uh, hung on the uh, expressway, on the, uh, the Kensington Expressway of uh, telling you to get off here at Best Street if you want to go to War Memorial Stadium. Those are really rare too. There's only a few of those that I know of in existence, but Anyway, uh, I've gone on long enough. Uh, I hope you like the segment. We love War Memorial Stadium. It is just a fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, venue in Buffalo sports history that has so much history to it. You know, the natural film there, the Bills played there, the, the All-American Conference, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the, the mini midget auto racing and, the, uh, and all the things that happened there. It's just, it really is amazing. Um, my home field for Canisius College baseball for four years. And I just love it. It's a, it's a wonderful old park. But anyway, uh, I've gone on long enough. Uh, hope you liked the segment. We'll continue on. I'm getting great feedback on these. Uh, thank you so much for all the messages, all, all the instant messages and things. It really, it makes me feel good that I'm doing this for, for people. And, and I just, um, I really love hearing from people. So thank you again for being a member of uh, the Buffalo Sports Museum.
And I really do uh, uh, hope you love these segments as much as I do. Thanks. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.